A new energy storage facility is set to help chill more buildings in the Marina Bay area in a sustainable way. When ready in four years, it will take the load off an existing cooling network when electricity demand is high. The pilot could pave the way for increased capacity at similar systems around the island. Aslam Shah goes underground for more. Shoppers at Marina Bay Sands may not know this, but right underneath them is this facility the size of about two and a half football fields. I'm at the Marina Bay District cooling plant where chilled water is being discharged to cool buildings in the area. This is one of the tanks that helps to ease 11 megawatts of electrical load. That's equivalent to powering about 7,500 four-room HDB flats in just one day. A similar system will be installed in George Street, about two kilometers away from here, in just about four years' time. These tanks store ice that are melted when needed to flow into a cooling network connected to about 23 buildings in the area. When electricity demand soars in the district, the tanks are activated in just 10 minutes to meet any shortfall. That's faster than using solar energy, which depends on the weather. So thermal energy storage systems, um, easier to maintain, easier to operate, uh, less upfront cost. And if you actually grow them and if you're able to build scale around the thermal energy storage system, you're going to be in a uh, situation where you're going to um, help balance intermittency issues to the, to the network. The planned pilot energy storage facility at George Street substation will be completed as part of its renewal works. It's expected to be ready by the third quarter of 2026 and will help increase the area's cooling capacity by more than 4%. If successful, more of such facilities could be installed in other areas to help ease soaring electricity prices.